I have been spending my time extremely productively when I thought to myself, why don't I have a face on my channel? If Mother V3 can do it, how hard is it to get a VTuber avatar? I began my diligent research, or in other words, clicking the first video I could find, and I discovered that it takes artistic talent. You actually have to draw your model, or you could take the other route and go to Etsy and pay someone to draw it for you. As I was scrolling through the listings, I saw that you could get a model pretty cheap. You could pay someone less than 15 pounds for a pretty cool looking, chill, black haired hoodie boy. That is, until I saw this. Multiple users can have the model. The buyer does not receive copyright. The actual listings that would work with you to create your very own VTuber avatar would put you back with around 200 pounds. This is when I thought to myself, am I not running an AI channel? Go into Civit AI and find Ghost Mix. Download the model and put it in Stable Diffusion's Models folder. I will also download the not-so-perfect Asterion from Baldur's Gate 3 Laura. I will rename the model to include SD1.5 as a prefix. This will help me separate my models without the need to remember each model's name. Let's open Stable Diffusion Web UI. At the top left corner, select Ghost Mix. Go to Image to Image, and now we need to get a reference for our VTuber. What better place than Etsy itself? I'll go for this one. Open your snippet tool and draw a square. This is so that we can work with a 1024 by 1024 image. Go to Stable Diffusion and upload your image. Click Interrogate Deep Guru. This will generate a prompt for us. Take a few seconds to improve the prompt. Change the sampling steps to 35, then go for an image size of 1024 by 1024. Decrease the denoising strength. This is so that we can get as close to the original image as we can, but still clear out the artifacts. And another thing that would help with that would be the increase of CFG scale. Generate. Grab the image on the right side and drag it to the left. We've removed the artifacts and can work with the clean image. Let's adjust the prompt and generate again. That's quite nice already. You could use this or try to improve it using Loras. Let's apply Astarion and see how it impacts the result. Let's try a few more times. We are finally getting there. I do not want to choose an image with this many artifacts in the background as that would impact background removal later on. Let's now search for VitoTube. Go for the mini version. Click download and choose the right version for your PC. Extract the folder from the zip. Let's now launch it by clicking on the exe file. When you launch it, you should see this. If you try to speak, the avatar will open its mouth. You'll see you've got four different states. Closed mouth, open mouth, closed mouth blinking, open mouth blinking. Each of these hold an image. Logically, if you remove the blinking image, the avatar will stop transitioning from one image to the next. If the avatar doesn't move when you speak, make sure to select the right input device. Feel free to explore the rest of the interface. Let's start using our images. First, let's remove the existing ones. Next, replace the closed mouth image with your image of choice. Go to Stable Diffusion, then Outputs, then Image to Image. Go into the folder with today's date and choose the image you'd like to use. The image is now there, but we cannot use it with this nasty background. For that, we use Adobe's Background Remover. We upload our photo, and just like that, the image is now looking clean. Download the image and let's apply it to ViatoTube. Now how do we get the same image but with the eyes closed? Stable diffusion in painting. Just below the image, click in paint. With the brush, cover only the eyes. Let's add closed eyes to the prompt. If you didn't get the desired result, increase the strength by highlighting one part of the prompt and pressing Ctrl plus arrow up. Let's now see what we get. Now that looks like an image we can use. Let's locate the image, put it next to our closed mouth image, and rename it to Closed Mouth Eyes Closed. 
Let's now add it to VideoTube in the closed mouth blinking image section. We missed an important step where we didn't remove the background, so let's now use Photoshop to do that. Since we already have an image with no background, we'll use that as base and replace the eyes. Drag the closed eyes image on top of your original one. Zoom into the eyes, grab the lasso tool, and carefully make a circle around the eyes. The reason for using Photoshop here is because we need two different pairs of images. And if we want to keep the face consistent, it's better to replace existing elements than to regenerate them and get inconsistencies. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the eyes to a new layer, and hide the layer with the background. This step is optional, but you could clean up the image to remove any harsh lines. What you need to do is to select the two active layers and merge them together into a new layer by using Ctrl Alt E. You would then zoom into the image and using the Smudge tool, blend in the colors together. When done, go to File, then Export, Quick Export to PNG, and replace your existing Closed Mouth Eyes Closed image. Go to Viatitube to apply the change. You have created a blinking avatar. Now apply the same exact process, but for mouth open. I'll speed through this section. And we have done it, friends. You've established your digital self, version 1.0. As you can see, when you speak, it does look a little bit stiff. This is because we only have four frames. Here comes the secret trick. You do not need to add a PNG to VAutotube. You can add an APNG. A stands for animated in this case, and it means that your PNG file will act as a GIF and have multiple frames. For this step, you'll want to generate another image with this time a slightly open mouth. This would be used as an in-between frame to make the animation a little bit smoother. Now here comes the fun part of stitching it all together. We're going to use easygif.com and go to APNG Maker and upload our images. I'm now going to rearrange them so that they form a logical sequence. Feel free to play around with whatever looks best for you. You can also copy a frame if you want to extend the duration of the animation. When you're done, click on Make a PNG to see the result. If you want to make certain frames stay on screen a bit longer, you can change the delay values. Take the time to refine the animation as needed. Your avatar will only look as good as the time you put into it. When you're happy with the result, click on the Save button and apply the newly generated file to Viatitube's open mouth image. Now your animation should look a lot better. For further improvements, you could consider changing the angle of the head, animating the eyebrows, adding hand gestured, and so on. If you found this useful, give me a like. Do it now.